Mike Parallax here to entertain you with the help of Cypress Hill. <laughs> An album called Temple of Boom <laughs> from 95. What are you doing me, Cypress Hill? I'm trying to keep this channel clean. <laughs> References to teabagging will not be on this channel. Well, I just finished a 12-hour workday, 14 if you count commute, but I'm all hopped up and ready to make a video. <laughs> I decided from now on, I'm going to make sure I'm all hopped up before I hit record. <laughs> hopped up on what, you ask? <laughs> that remains a sacred secret. And I shall take the sacred secret to my grave. Hey! What, who invited you? Get out of here! Ah, I hate those interruptions. All right, so what? Oh, yeah, the, the whole point of this video. What, oh, yeah, my fruitcake father. <laughs> An update on dear old dad. <laughs> well, uh, this past summer, uh, he landed a job at an animal sanctuary. <laughs> Uh, that had uh, tigers there. Um, and he said, and I quote, he said these words to me. I hope, I hope that tiger don't eat me. <laughs> when he says things like this, it's almost as if the boy's trying to earn sympathy. Or he's seeking sympathy when he says stuff like this. But you couldn't write a funny scenario. Could you imagine opening up your local paper? <laughs> Man gets eaten by a blind, aging tiger with no teeth. <laughs> Go figure. The article would probably start off something like, Nature sure has a funny way of thinning out the herd sometimes. <laughs> Take this schmob, for example. <laughs> <laughs> if it happened, <laughs> I'd still be laughing, because it'd be the perfect end to a pathetic life. <laughs> Ultimately, of course, he lost the job, <laughs> talking derogatory all about you know, specific groups of people. You can't do that in the workplace nowadays. You tell that to him and <laughs> does not compute. He'll, he'll agree with you when you tell him, oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, but it doesn't sink in. <laughs> in, in today's workplace... To talk derogatory about specific groups of people? That's called a liability. <laughs> so I guess it's back to washing dishes for McDonald's for the boy. They won't let him near the food. <laughs> Even Mickey D's has standards. Of course, anybody who's seen the movie Mac and Me might beg to differ on that point. Initially, when he got that job at the Animal Sanctuary, I was uh, happy for him and Maybe even a little proud of the boy, <laughs> but uh, it wasn't meant to last. All he did was complain about what he has to deal with over there. You know the type. If they're even a little bit uncomfortable, you're going to hear about it. <laughs> I find it difficult to have sympathy for such people because I've never had that luxury. All right, I know this one is short. It's been a long day. Um, <clears throat> I guess uh, I'll seek the assistance of Cypress Hill to end this one. Another song on the album. Boom, biddy, bye, bye. Boom, biddy, bye, bye. Four o'clock till you know when you start to cry. Boom, biddy, bye, bye. Thanks for watching.